Let's talk about chord extensions. Chord extensions are a great strategy for making your harmony sound more nostalgic and colorful. They're notes like the 9th, 11th, and 13th that can go beyond your usual triads to help create what are commonly referred to as jazz chords. Now, finding the extensions to a chord is actually pretty simple. You'll just start with something called the add skip rule. Working in the key of C major, we'll start with the very first note, C. We'll add it to our chord, skip the next note, add the third, skip the fourth, add the fifth, skip the sixth, and then add the seventh. That's how we get the C major seven chord. But what if we keep going? We can skip the eighth and add the ninth. We can then skip the 10th and add the 11th and then skip the 12th and add the 13th. And this is as far as we can go, because if we skip the 14th, we'll end up finding ourselves right back at C. In fact, if we look back, we can notice that the extensions are just all the notes we skipped in the original add skip process. The 9th is just the 2nd, an octave higher. The 11th is the 4th, and the 13th is just the 6th. This collection of all the notes in a scale stacked in thirds is called a chord scale. And we can use this pattern to find the chord scales for every note in our key. Starting with D, we add, skip, add, skip until we've reached all of the possible notes. However, this is where things start to get a little tricky. You see, not all extensions are actually useful for harmony. The useful ones are called tensions and can be added to your chord. But the not so useful ones are called harmonic avoidance notes, or Hans for short. And as the name suggests, they are to be avoided when it comes to creating extended chords. Fortunately, it's not too difficult to tell the difference. Essentially, just collapse your extensions by dropping them an octave and comparing them to the previous notes. If they are separated by a whole step, then you're working with the tension. If they only have a half step, then you found a Hans. In C major, D is a whole step above C, so the ninth is fair game. But F is only a half step above E, so the 11th just won't work. Finally, A is a whole step above G, so the 13th is also fair game to add to your chord. The only exception to this rule is if the 13th forms a tritone with the third of your chord. If so, it doesn't matter how it compares to the fifth, it will still be a harmonic avoidance note. I hope you found this helpful. If you're interested in learning more about using extended chords in your harmony, I recommend checking out the link in the description of this video. Until next time, keep studying, keep working hard, and keep writing new music.